show you uh, just some stuff around this. Introduce yourself, I'm Greg Crummins. I'm the education director around here. Why don't we uh, head up into, and I'll show you the theater. Backstage. Come on. So this is our vomitoriums when people come into the show. This is one of the sides they come in on. And then this is where the audience sits. Well, of course, the audience back there has been watching the shows. They never really know what's happening backstage. So if you just come on and follow us, right back here, I'll show you where the backstage magic happens. Ladies and gentlemen, we are backstage right, and if you remember from an actor's point of view, whichever they're looking at the audience, that's their right, and that's stage left. He works hard, I, I think. That's why he's just so tired all the time. And kids. Kids will do that to you. Or drunk. We never really figured out sleeping or drunk. It's one, one of the two. Sleep, sleep, drunk? Drunk sleep? Is, is that a word? Maybe? Drunk, drunk sleep. Right off either side of the stage here. So that's just kind of a brief glimpse about backstage stuff, and we'll just pass you on down to Doug. Um, my name is Doug, and I'm the production manager here, so I'll take you into our green room and dressing room area. Um, this is the green room, so people just get ready uh, to sit here before the show. Before the show, so. Uh, I. We all get tired, so it's natural to want to rest your eyes, and so I guess if you're tired you should rest your eyes, and we still do things, and stuff still happens, it's just important to rest your eyes. Makeup and um, do their hair, so, and then in here is the laundry room. Laundry, um, mainly me, I guess. <laughs> and then there's a bathroom too, in case you need to use the restroom. So, do you need to use the restroom? No. Okay. Well, in case you do, it's there. Um, there's toilet paper too. If you need that, some spray. So, um, we'll go back this way. Oh, you want to see the jewels? Yes, these are jewels. Um, color coded. Uh, I think I did that uh, probably. Uh, so we'll go see Jimmy up in the booth, um, if you will just follow me, not too close. I'm Jimmy Rimpy, I'm the technical director, and I'll show you a little bit about what I do, but first, we're going to go up to the brand new booth that we built just last June. Not many people get a tour of that, so neat to see. Come with me, watch your step. It's somewhat close quarters, but that's okay. If you look right here, this is our new projector. And I have so many people ask me, what do the movies look like when you get them? I will show you. This, this is all they look like. All I have to do is break the seal, I pop it open. In here is a little thing, I take my magic key. I unlock my hard drive, if I can get the key. And I just pop it in there. There you go, and that's basically how we load a movie. Well, he's a great dad. I mean, he's got he's got his little girl at home. I mean, she is like one year old or four. I, I don't I don't remember, but I, I guess that you know it takes a lot of energy to play, you know, tiddlywinks and marbles and candy. Land. I don't know what they play. Thanks, but, I mean, he comes in awful awful exhausted, and, and uh, I can see why. As a woman, I mean, I appreciate seeing a, a male figure taking good care of his daughter. And 
computer, but all my lights are run right off of this with a special kind of software. So that's one computer. Then if we turn to this computer, this is our sound computer here. This is what we do all of our sound effects and show music for our production specifically on that computer. You know, in the morning and through the day, uh, I got questions I, I need answered, but, but I'm, 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 I'm an intelligent uh, woman, so I, I, you know, I come up with them on, on, on my own. So, um, yeah, I mean, at least that's what he says. And then we come down to the final computer that we have up here. This is our movie computer. All I have to do if I want to show a movie is I click play. All right, so let's take a trip back downstairs, and Doug and I will show you our tool room and maybe our build space. So, step on over with me. If you follow me, I'm going to take you out back to where Doug and I and some of our summer crew build the majority of our scenery. Pardon me, I put my sunglasses on or I will sneeze like a banshee. This is our shop. We would set up like saw horses or something out here and bring our saws out and uh, plug them in. We've got cords there. So we, um, if you want to see back over in here our wood pieces. Um, this is just sort of like stuff, you know, all of our um, platforms and whatnot we would lean up against here. Um, I have some covered back there from the elements, such as winter weather, um, and then 2x4s, 2x6s, trim pieces, um, we try to recycle uh, all the time, all the time, all the time. <laughs> um, I guess we'll head inside and just see the tool room, uh, where all the tools are. Right around the corner here, into our tool room. Tool room. It is nicely organized, which is the product of Doug. Um, I'm not that good at organization. I'm good at putting things back. But uh, if you come over here, this is basically what we've got. I mean, I've got a nice little compound miter saw. I've got a table saw. We've got a bunch of hand drills, uh, corded and cordless, which is always handy, and tape and glue that are necessary in the theater. This is a very important drawer. Very. It's important to keep all of that stocked well, more so than the screws, um, tape and glue. You want to see the prop room? Oh, oh, of course you do. <laughs> Let's go to the prop room. Prop room, which is um, in the basement. Uh, I think it used to be offices a really long time ago. Um, you can see all of the stuff that's down there. There's a lot, too. You can go down these stairs. Watch your step. Okay, so this is our prop room. Um, as I said, used to be some sort of office back in the day. Uh, things are um, all over the place. Um, there's a system to it. It makes sense to me. Suitcases. Um, this is safety melts, which is for slick sidewalks. We got six buckets. Uh, I think we were scammed. In here would be books and bottles, if you're interested in a book or a bottle. Um, back up in here, here, this is uh, dark. Okay, all right. So um, more storage in here, chairs. It's going to be real dark. Be careful. Uh, the sump pump is back here too, which is down there. That's where the thing drains into. And this is the old furnace. Uh, from the church, uh, which no longer works, but it's pretty impressive. More I guess we will head up and see the offices. Uh, we're heading up the stairs. Watch your step again. Uh, just be careful as you come up here. And there we go. I'm Michael Misco. I'm the marketing director here. We're going to go upstairs and see the offices where the five of us work. No one ever gets to see this. You need to come up these really close. Cool. Right here to make sure I don't fall. Yep. And we come on upstairs. <clears throat> this is the office. It didn't seem normal to me at first until every time I would like look at like Jimmy or Doug, they just go, don't, just don't say anything. And I've learned that it's actually better to not. In fact, when I come in in the morning, I try and beat uh, Mark here. And I got a, a, a pot of coffee ready for him just to, it's kind of like a subtle hint. Um, uh, there was the day that I put the crack in it. He was awake all day. It was awesome. We got so much work done that day. But um, yeah, all in all, it's, I mean, I guess as you age, you sleep more. So it's probably my explanation for it. 
everybody. Holly, this is our uh, Nerf basketball hoop that we use sometimes. Mark is actually, uh, when he's around, is our um, reigning pig champion. He's beaten every one of us uh, one time, and he won't play again, so he never has to lose. Uh, this is Doug's office. He keeps it all nice and neat and clean, and, um, and everything is, is pretty spick and span over here with Doug. Uh, this is my desk, my little corner of the world, where uh, I work. Uh, it used to be a huge mess uh, with, with a lot of cobwebs and stuff, and I cleaned it out, put in a tranquility fountain, and let me tell you, this, this, makes, the day, this, this makes the day begin. It's, I can't do anything without this fountain. Let's just be a little quiet. Uh, this is Mark's office, where he, um, he's actually working on, he's casting right now. Um, he's working on uh, casting Buddy Holly. And um, I think he's working on Smoke on the Mountain at the moment, and this is where the magic happens. I mean, without, without the goings-on in this office, we, just, we wouldn't be able to operate. And um, he's actually hard at work at the moment. It's deceiving. Um, but he's really good at that. So, and let's go back downstairs, and uh, we'll get you out of here. Well, that's it. That's our tour of the theater. Um, any last things you guys want to add? Greg? Yes, come see a show and see it firsthand here at the Great Plains Theater. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. hey uh, let me know when you uh, start that promo video thing. I want to help, out, help you out with that. I've been really working hard on like casting and things today, like really pounding it, you know, today, kind of getting things done. But I want to help you guys out, so just let me know when it takes off, okay? Okay, thanks. All right, keep up the good work. GPT! Please help us. Bye. Bye. Let's get to work! Well, yeah, I don't tolerate it. I mean, I, I don't tolerate staff sleeping on the job because that just wouldn't be sort of what... Oh, um... See, when you're creative, when your mind processes at a rate that people can't comprehend sometimes, it may seem like you're sleeping, but really I'm, I'm contacting my inner self and searching inward for thoughts that I can't think of yet. So I reach into my soul thoughts that aren't there but should be there and I have to find them and that's sometimes that can be perceived as sleeping. Right? Who told you? This? <sighs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll. Jimmy?